Good morning, everybody. It's the start to another day in Orlando. Well, good morning. We are just about to go down to breakfast. We'll take you with us. But just have a look at this beautiful view. How gorgeous is that? Some people in the pool already. It's about half past nine. We'll come into that. Yep. Yeah, we had a good night's sleep. I think we don't have any neighbours, do we? So it's like, yes! Not at the moment. That was nice. <laughs> it was really, really quiet last night. I slept through pretty much. Yeah, really good. Okay, we're going to go downstairs and um, see what we can fill our bellies with. I just love this carpet. It kind of looks like when the sea goes up to the beach and then goes back again. Do you know what I mean? It's so pretty. Just saying that we're going to go downstairs and get some food again today, but... We're planning to go and get some cereals and stuff, aren't we? Yeah. So that we're not buying it every day. Yeah. Right by the lifts, there's this huge window. It looks out over the pool, over the lake. And in the distance, really tiny, you can see SeaWorld. So we're going to go to the canteen, see if there's anything that takes our fancy this morning. Probably try something different again. It's really cool that they've got stuff that you can pick up and take away, like sandwiches salads that you could take into the park I assume or wherever you're going if you're going on a road trip so we're gonna try one of these it's got like a pretzel bun I think it might have like ham egg and cheese in it comes with a hash brown yeah this was this one was in a panic last night because there was no angry orchard they still haven't stopped it uh, better do later tell them to get their finger out we got breakfast I'm gonna try something different now this came to 8.63 with our annual pass discount, which sounds like quite a lot for what you get. But um, like we said, we're going to get some cereals later on and some milk so we can... Yeah, we're going to go over to Walgreens and get just some bits and bobs. Just so that we don't have to spend money on breakfast every day. And it'd probably be a bit healthier. <laughs> Not that I'm worried about health, but... Health is boring. It's hard when you're in America. Oh, crispy. What's in here then? Oh, look, ham, egg, and cheese, it looks like. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That looks special. Where we're sat is right by the sandbar. We came in this gate. Our room is directly up there. And there's some, like, normal tables here. Loads and loads of sun loungers. Loads of umbrellas. I can't imagine this place ever runs out of sun loungers. You know, there's so many of them. And they go right around the corner. Lovely little bar there. They do cocktails. Surfboards on the roof. Love that. Might go and take some nice shots for you guys. And also, don't worry about bringing your own towels because you can use the ones that are here. Return them there. There are some like inflatables I've seen people using in the pools. They've got balls. Sometimes you see rubber rings in there. So yeah, there's an inflatable in there. And also life jackets. So if your kid isn't a very good strong swimmer, don't worry about that. If you forget your armbands. How cool is this? So we thought we'd go on a little bit of an adventure. Talking to Craig yesterday, when we were waiting for the iRide trolley, he was going to the Florida Mall, wasn't he? He was getting on the number 42 Lynx bus. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's interesting. So we thought, oh, today we'll hop on the Lynx bus, because it was only $2 a person. So we picked it up from the same place we get the iRide trolley outside the hotel. And um, it was $2 a person. And actually, the bus driver was a bit of a yeah. Douchebag. <laughs> I could say that word. Well, we thought it was four dollars each, and you've got to put the exact amount in, and I think you put in a five, didn't you? Well, no, I put in two dollars because I prepared before we got on, thinking it was eight dollars. I prepared a five-dollar note and three single dollars, and then so it goes two dollars each. Oh, okay. So I'd already put two in, and I had one more. Like, and he goes, "Come on, come on, come on!" I was like, yeah. "Oh no, no, I ain't got no more money." And I said, "Hold on, hold on." Luckily, I had a dollar in my pocket. Yeah. So anyway, we figured that out. Oh, we should get out of the road. 
But then um, we do. <laughs> we did not do our research. We didn't realise it would take us quite so long to get here. <laughs> yeah, we didn't time it, but I don't know how long would you say it took. Thirty to forty minutes. I was going to say about forty minutes because it went all round sort of the back. All round the houses. Yeah, so um, I actually wouldn't recommend getting the 42 bus to come to the Florida Mall. If anything, I would either get an Uber or a Lyft or go to the Orlando Premium Outlets, which is the furthest you can go on the iRide trolley, and then you've only got a four mile journey from the outlets to the Florida Mall. <sighs> so that was our little best journey. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend the Lynx bus to get here unless you've got all day i mean we have got i mean all day, it was kinda. fine if you've got plenty of time if you've you, got plenty you, of time but don't got... expect to be here really quickly yeah and the bus driver was a douchebag yeah so we've just come in through jc penny rather than walk around all the way around the outside of the mall i was like how cute is this for our nephew yeah and i'm like okay let's get it let's look at the price take a guess so i'll give you three seconds to take a guess how much you think this costs Brace yourself. This is $42. $42. It would wear it for like a few weeks and then we outgrown it. It's actually in the sale at $31.50. So we're in the Florida Mall now. Um, there's like a central bit here we can get sushi on a conveyor belt, which is very American. I've tried on a few things, haven't you, Scott? But like oh, shoes, like yeah. a few things, one, a left shoe and a right shoe. <laughs> But no good at the moment. He's looking for new shoes. He got approached yesterday. He was like, "Hey them. man, let me let me uh, shoe shine your shoes for you. Look at them." He was like, "They need clean, man. They're they're like, suede. We know we need new shoes." I was walking away. He was like, "They're suede." <laughs> That's funny. So we've led ourselves to the food court, and there's a Fat Tuesday coming. Not not quite yet, but it's coming. There's loads of stuff. They got Popeyes, Charlie's steak. Um, Sparrow, which we really love the Stromboli. <laughs> We're already tempted to get one, but we said we'd get lunch on iDrive. We've got Taco Bell, like a Chinese place over there. Just seeing if we've got somewhere I can get like a cookie or something, because I'm a bit peckish. Oh, is this the place? This could be the place. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. We've got cupcakes. Oh, wow, look at the cake. Thank you. <laughs> cool, Stranger Things cake. Oh, look. Oh, I don't know what to have. Pecan pie. Pecan pie, don't go for it. <laughs> avoid, avoid. So I picked a cookie and Scott got a Fanta pineapple. Sounds really nice. It's a nice. The cookie was actually 3 dollars was it? $3.79? It's quite a lot for a cookie, so it better be good. And she was a miserable cow, so. <laughs> it's quite nice. This is only a cookie though. The cakes look nice. And also, unless it's moved, the Disney store is not here anymore, which is a little bit disappointing, isn't it? Because it is. It is a different store to Disney World Shop, isn't it? They always had different stuff in there, different ornaments, and so it's a little bit disappointing. Unless they moved it, because I did notice that Bath and Body Works is in a different location now. Anyway, we'll keep going. We haven't done the whole mall yet. Go and see. Scotty made a purchase. He's got some new shoes. Now you won't get hunted down by the shoe shine man. Even we walked past that shoe shine man yeah. and he had his eye on you. Yeah, he went. <laughs> Look at them damn oh. shoes. <laughs> I know I need new shoes. I know they look like crap. <laughs> okay, right, we're going to try and pick up an Uber, go for lunch somewhere on iDrive, but we don't know where to pick up this damn Uber from. You know when sometimes you walk past someone and you hear their conversation? Well, yesterday when we were coming out of the outlets, I heard this lady go, Oh, it's really disappointing with the Florida Mall. And I went, There you go, Sky. She's really disappointed. But I know what she means because loads of places have shut down. Yeah. And the Disney store is gone, so that's disappointing. <laughs> Just came past this crazy place. I think they do like gelato or ice pops. Well, look at the seat in. It's like a roller coaster. Now we've got an Uber here. Please drop off Scott on the right. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. That was one of our first Uber experiences. And when we were arriving, a little voice on the phone was like, drop off Scott on the right. <laughs> so we're here. We had a few drops of rain on the way. 
and we are gonna try Uncle Julio's. So I believe it's a Mexican restaurant. Look at this, this must be a dessert, you smash it. A bit like a piñata. We're celebrating National Hispanic Heritage Month. Cool. We got a menu we're gonna have a look at. Got margaritas now. Happy hour, three till six. Scott's immediately spotted this margarita of the month and it's got fresh mango and jalapeno. Fresh mangoes modelled to order with fresh lime juice and jalapenos. Cool. A little bit tempted. Great things it's got to be tried. It's on there. Taco Bar Tuesday is back. So we're thinking about trying this barbacoa beef fajitas. It looks like pulled beef. Um, it's got um, zucchini, what's that, courgette, and it all looks grilled lovely. It comes with rice, frijoles. They've just brought out some nachos and salsa, and they said everything is freshly made. So you, know, so you can tell these are proper, like, homemade ones. Are they nice? Yeah. Salty. Yeah. Make you drink more. Scott's trying his margarita. She asked me when I ordered it, do you want to keep the spiciness in there? I was like, yes. <laughs> is it nice? Mixed on. Mixed on up. What is that in it? Is that jalapeno? Is like that floating around? Ooh. Is it good? It's spicy. But is it good? Yeah, it's spicy. It is spicy then. <laughs> Let me try. It's spicy. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I just had one go up the straw. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's well spicy. Yeah. Ooh. God help me. It's actually really, really nice in here as well, isn't it? Really nicely done out. There's lots of places you can sit, different sections and stuff. Okay, here it's sizzle. So these are the barbecue beef. Barbacoa beef fajitas. And they are sizzling away. So she said, which rice do we want? And we said, which one's better? She's actually come out with both of them. And you get the choice of flour or corn tortillas, and I prefer flour, so. And you, you can tell these are homemade as well. They're lovely and thick and warm. This one came out so quick. Um, constructed mafajita. Got a bit of courgette there, some onion, some of the beef. Comes with cottage cheese. And I've just tried these beans. Delicious. So, so flavorful. I've just had a bite and I think it's lovely. The tortillas are incredible. Nice, isn't it? That's very good. I'm actually really thankful that this is um, a recommendation from the Despicable Free. We saw their vlog and they loved it. Yeah, the meat's lovely. The meat's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's that grilled like, barbecue. Yeah. We both have a nice panic now. Like, I've only had one fajita and I feel full. I've just made my second one. I'm going to try and force it out. There's so much food here. I mean, we didn't ask for the extra rice, but oh my god, I I'm panicking. <laughs> So our check has come out, and I think you can pay cash or card. Um, just for ease, I might just do the card, be easy. And it adds the tip on for you, which works out great. So that's what it's come to. And we are both stuffed, absolutely. Hold on, you're blurry. We're both absolutely stuffed, aren't we? Couldn't eat another thing. There's so much food. <laughs> and she didn't charge us for the extra rice either. Just walking past the star flyer. See the size of these potholes. That's what he said. Blimey. <laughs> we're currently sat waiting. We're at the Star Flyer um, I Ride Trolley stop. We've been here for about 35 minutes. Well, at, least, at least half an hour. Still no sign of an I Ride Trolley. Two, but two, two have gone that way. But I like to be negative, Nancy. But they were really slow this time. I mean, we haven't used them a lot ever. I think we've only ever used it once in past trip. But um, I, re I seem to remember when we've been here before that like, you see them quite often. But like, where are they? They have put signs up saying like, due to a reduced fleet, unlimited capacity, wait times will be affected. But this is pretty crappy. <laughs> it's like they start walking. Just so what though, isn't it? And we also just bumped into Lee and Sarah from Lee Out on the Limb. Just had a quick hello. They were at the bar as usual. <laughs> and um, 
best we're, place to be. We're going to see them on Tuesday. We should have just stayed at the bar. Could have had a drink right now. Could have had a drink. We must have, I don't know, I keep saying this, we must have just missed one. Anyway, when we get back to the hotel, smarten ourselves up and go straight out again so that we can make it in time for stain screen. I made it! I said stain screen! Yay! Starfly's going up. Clouds are building. I can only be thankful for that bit of breeze that we got. Oh, it's quite windy up there. Scott wants to show the people his new shoes. <laughs> Go on, show the people. Very nice, Dan. Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah. We're finally back in the room. That took forever to get back. And actually, I think we were really lucky because a few stops down, there are people waiting to get on. And uh, the bus driver said, I'm sorry, I'm full. You'll have to wait for the next bus. And she said, the next bus is just behind her. Whether it was or not, I don't know. So I think we were quite lucky to get on when we did. However, I think we waited there a good 50 minutes. So it was a long time to wait. We've now just spruced up and we're going to head in for stay and scream. So you have to get in before five o'clock or else they shut the gates and you have to wait outside with the the Halloween Horror Nights guests. Because if you've got a, an, either an annual pass or a day pass, you can get in early, which I think really helps. So we're going to go and do that again. We can get a few houses out done in the first hour and a half and then relax for the last couple of hours. Just sat in front of the window here while Scott's in the loo. I just love it here. I love it so much. It's just such a nice hotel. And like I said, if you can get a quiet room, which I mean, it's just sod's law in it, it's just luck, but we had such a good sleep last night, which is really good, hopefully. Can't hear anybody in there next door, hopefully. We won't have neighbors for a few days. Are you ready, Scotty? Yeah. Come on, man. Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> they got some in there. <laughs> I love this lobby. It's so cool. So we just got chatting with somebody who watches our vlogs. And he's just informed us that there's a hurricane on the way on Wednesday. Like, we didn't know that. Hur hurricane Force 3. Oh my god. That's just our luck, is it? Here we go for round two. Bring it on, baby. Yep. Do you know what? The people that come and queue in like jeans and jerks. I know. Yesterday I saw a guy, people with like winter hats on. A bubble hat. And I like, I was like I, I'm sweating. I said to you, I can't even look at him. <laughs> like, disgusting. <laughs> so sweaty yesterday. They must be committed. So the, the, the uh, the aim is to go for the Halloween stay and scream, but who knows? Let's like, do it. Like, like last night we ended up going yeah. to one and then the other and then the other, so and another and another. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm just talking to my mum. <laughs> she said, if King Charles was in Star Wars, what would he be called? C three. If it was on a post box, it would be C3PO. Oh. <laughs> That's terrible. It's awful, isn't it? I'll come up with that. I don't know, probably my mum. <laughs> I have to say, this new system of queuing in the stain screen is much more civilised. So instead of like opening the gate and everybody running to their house and overtake, like you might have been at the front of the queue, but people run and overtake you. This is so much more civilised. Look at it. It's so calm. And then when we come out of here, we can go into the next house. That's awesome. We just finished doing Halloween. That was really good. So good. Probably one of my favourite ones so far. Just heading this way now. Change it off. weekend. Heard a lot of good things about it. 
Coffee right. dusky now and I love this time of night because it's kind of the lights are coming on but it's not too dark that it's dark. Yeah we waited about what 40 minutes for the weekend. Yeah it was ruined by some girls yeah, behind I us. I think it'd be a really good house it just was ruined for me because I had some young girls so behind loud, me pushing me treading on me it's just screaming so loud in the end I said look go ahead go ahead because I can't my ears can't take it anymore. Like, and then by the time we did that it was the end of the house. Yeah. So never mind. Um, but we did really enjoy it, or would have enjoyed it more. Ha however, that's just how it goes. Save your tears for another day. The Scottish version. Oh yeah. Hi. <laughs> I thought we'd be better. Than it. Spooky. Tell <laughs> the people what happened. We just went on Men in Black, and I don't. I'm not sure how, but this really drunk guy started talking to me. A just, bit of a cling on. Yeah, just as we got going on the ride. He was on his own. He was on his own and the guy who, who seats you on the ride, he was like, how many? I go two. And he goes, no, three. Yeah. And I was like, no, no, two. <laughs> and he goes, three, three. And he was like, okay, three, go that way. But I, I kept going to the guy while he was talking to me. Two. <laughs> and then the drunk guy just kept saying, no, three. And I was like, okay. Have to go on with it now. Yeah. I sat in the middle. Yes, was on the right, and he was on the left. But he just—he didn't—he weren't shooting the aliens. He was just talking to me the whole time. Like, he was, like so, he was a nice enough chap. He was a nice, yeah, he, horrible guy. Like, but, um, he was fine. He was just really drunk. And then, what did he say about the queen? And then he was asking me where we're from. And I said we're from the UK. And then he started saying, "Oh, I'm sorry about the queen." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, thanks, man." Like, <laughs> Uh, and then at the end I thought he was going to try and cling on more because he was like where are you guys going now like I don't really know where I'm going and I'm like I don't know we're, we're just going to get some food but yeah he, he ended up wandering off so yeah <laughs> oh dear I feel bad because he was a nice enough chat but like yeah he was just drunk like five minutes with him was quiet enough <laughs> we are super busy around here just going to get a oh air conditioning just gonna get a drink. Actually, many black maybe feel a bit squiffy, so we're not gonna have food for a little bit. Give it ten minutes, so try some of the uh, specialties that are on offer. It's crazy. I've never seen it this busy. Go left. We need to go left. We need traffic lights. <laughs> Shout fire, and then run. Or I'm gonna poop my pants! Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, come back, coming through, coming through, coming through, coming through, thank you! So, it's really loud because the, the lake show is going on behind us. Um, it's really dark as well, so we got the light on the phone. We just got the burnt offerings mac and cheese. Yummy! Show. It was spectacular. It was so good. It was really, really good. Yeah, Yes said when we went in, I hope there's fire because it was, what's it called? Nightmare fuel hell, wildfire. wildfire. And you were like, I hope there's fire. It better be fire. There was, there was fire. <laughs> and it was spicy. <laughs> no comment. Scott came away with more than he went in with. <laughs> I just said to Yes, I wish my nightmares were like that. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, but oh, it was so so good. One of the best shows we've seen. Very good. Probably yeah. see it again. Oh, I'd love to. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna head to the Hard Rock shop to have a look, see what they've got. Halloween's daily. 
and um, just thought we'd show you this lovely view. I say it's all time, but it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> I think one day we'll have to get one of these boats down to um, Hard Rock Hotel and check out the hotel. That would be cool. Go fast, don't they? Look at him reversing. It's as quick as me reversing. <laughs> Cold in here, bloody hell. Hey, can I help you there, sir? <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's pretty darn cool. Got a lanyard with it as well. Looks nice. How much is that then? 35. I thought he got a t-shirt. $35, but with the annual pass discount, we got a fiver off. So we just sat down in front of the Hard Rock Cafe and we thought we would end the vlog. So thank you guys for watching. Again, I don't know what kind of vlog this is going to turn out to be. But I'll do my best. <laughs> um, so tomorrow we've got something really awesome planned. Well, I say planned, we're going to go with the flow, aren't we? We're gonna meet up with some really special people, so make sure you tune in to the next vlog. I can't wait for tomorrow. It's gonna to be awesome. Then whatever happens, it's gonna be awesome. So thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one. See you later. Bye.